you talk a lot about um, Roger Penske and the type of leader he is and the team owner. Can you just describe a little bit about his leadership style and what you think um, makes him you know, resonate with the rest of you and why um, he's so great to drive for and work for? Yeah, he's the most powerful man I know, as I said, and, and, uh, and an amazing human being. Uh, you've, and I've seen, you know, people sometimes, journalists or someone, you know, whether it's jealousy, whether it's, I don't know what it is, but write something bad, you know, and you're like, come on, you can't be serious, right? And that person all of a sudden having financial problem or having a sort of sickness, and he's like, hey, I, let me help you. So that type of a person, you know, if you're thinking about these days, people don't take that in consideration. People are like, see, you got what you deserve. But he, yeah. he doesn't think that way. He's, he goes around and, and, and he doesn't make it public, by the way. So that's the, for me, it's a, an incredible human being. And leadership, as I just mentioned, he gives you the tools to work. It's up to you now to make it happen to execute, okay? And now you gotta give your 100%. And the most pleasure for us, it's actually seeing he, good job. Even his small words, well done. It's for us, it's like, yeah. So it, it, it's, it's, we wear the shirt. We feel that, okay, it's, we're representing an incredible company. And that's where his talent to find people that it's, it's gonna do that. It's gonna wear the shirt. It's gonna be part of this team and not be, I want to be the individual. Oh, it's me. Which you have people like that. It's nothing wrong with it. It just got to understand how the process. Every place there is a process. And here in our team or Team Penske, I call our team because I've been there for so many years. But that's the point. You, you become inside. This is part of my, me. You know, it's even that I don't have any ownership. You know, don't make as much money as they do. But, you know, it's it's benefiting me. It's making me winning. It's making everybody winning and I'm winning. So um, uh, it's, it's a great attitude. Uh, and, 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 then, and he set this example. So he gets the first one to get there. He's the last one to leave. Um, he's 80 plus years old. <laughs> he has the most, he could have the most excuse in the world, so like, you know what, I did everything. I could enjoy the golf course. I could enjoy the, whatever it is. Right. Loves racing. And that's another, he's passionate about what he is doing. And that's why his companies is succeed. His dealerships, his rental company, uh, truck, truck rental company, uh, uh, the race team, everything is it's because we, we want to succeed for him as well. So what I'm hearing from you is, he gives you the resources to succeed, gives you the opportunity to make your own decisions and, and run with your, your responsibility as a driver or you know, whatever your role is. And then he sets the example. He's there, the first one there in the morning, as you said, last one to leave, he's walking the walk. And, and those, those are the three things I heard from you, which I love. Um, one thing that I see that's increasingly rare these days that is an attribute of great leaders is somebody that has the ability to handle conflict. And that's not only true for great leaders, I think it's true for great friends and great partners, right? I think as a society, we're doing an increasingly poor job of learning how to manage conflict with other people and respectfully, you know, air our grievances and be able to work out our disagreements together, even professional disagreements, not personal. And it just amazes me how that's become this sort of lost art. And I'm just curious as if you've had that experience with him that he's able, you know, sort of to keep the peace in this team where you guys, you guys have so much at stake, even compared to other sports, right? You're trying to win. There's tons of money at stake, but also your lives are at stake. You're on a track in a dangerous sport. You know, I'm just curious as to if that, you know. Is but not only that, Wes, don't, He's, he's a leader, but he's also a boss. And, and sometimes things doesn't go the right way. Like, I remember um, sometimes I'm, I said, he's calling pit the slap. And I was like, no, I'm not going to pit because I can pass this guy and I'm going to go. I did my own decision. Mm -hmm. And in the end, it wasn't the right decision. <laughs> His decision was the right one. Mm -hmm. So he comes and say, next time when I tell you something, 
you follow what I say, okay? I'm like, you got boss. And vice versa with, with uh, and sometimes when I was like, I guarantee I'm gonna go for it. This is RP, let me do it. This is the right way. You better be right. So, yeah. but he yeah. gives you the, but he, you're like, oh my God, I hope I get the right, <laughs> but, but he gives you the chance. And if you doubt, if you have doubts, yeah. make it happen. There is not a chance. Now, if you're really, really sure that you know what you're doing, that what you're gonna come out is gonna be the right way, then you gotta take a chance. I've seen him upset. Oh yeah, absolutely. I've seen him yeah. he upset with the team and us and, and like mad um, for not achieving. So why are those guys having this and we're not trying this? What's the problem? So there was nothing, and that's what I see. Just because we have a system and you see something happening in another team, doesn't mean it's like, well, just because they're doing, we're not gonna do the same. You know, so he doesn't have that kind of a uh, uh, situation. He's like, he wants the best result. Doesn't matter which way, as long as the right way. And that's, that's for sure. He's always been like, you gotta be right. There is no, uh, you know, gray area. It's always white and black. And, um, and that's for me, um, it was a great, great learning curve uh, to work with him. And uh, yeah, sometimes, and I remember what he's saying, you lose more than we win. You lose more than win than win. And uh, but once you win, you gotta take that as a. That's why I think we we're related on the passion about racing because we really admire uh, and enjoy when we win. So one of the things that I actually uh, seen th those those situations that we lose, he's so quick in turning the page and move on. So he's not talking about sitting. Or drinking, you know, like beer or whatever. Like, oh, I can't believe. It. Turn the page, move on. Life goes on, and and it's great. He doesn't waste energy, you know, in in little details like that. He just kind of go to the next, and I like that.